by the winner of this matchup, Shu uh, Suga rather versus Shine. Yep. Suga and Yoshi versus Shine opting to go for Ike today. Right. He said he would in this matchup beforehand, and looks like he's making good on that promise. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is going to be an interesting matchup. Suga does have a lot of matchup experience in this one, playing a lot of uh, uh, Mexican, actually. Oh, that's right. Yes. Yeah. So, but uh, Ken, uh, Shine has been, uh, he, he's been playing this character for a good while, and uh, he definitely knows how to kind of exploit Yoshi's weaknesses of like having to deal with the disjoint. Oh, he's off stage. How's he going to get back on? He has to deal with that egg. Single jump, though. That might be a bit of just an easy snack for perhaps an Ike Fair or an Ike Nair. Oh, he's still hitting him, too. That's interesting. That was, uh, oh, he got him with the grab. Sugar, kind of on the offensive right now. Back into the mouth. And once again, does not get the does not get the up air finisher he was looking for, but back into the egg, and that's going to be a bit more percent tacked on. Mm -hmm. Sugar, uh, getting a lot of these grabs. How is he gonna? How is Shina gonna close this out? There's the fair getting him off stage. Any retaliation? No, he's gonna miss out on the bear actually getting hit by the egg. Good high recovery from Suga there. Just opted for the egg to perhaps dissuade him. Oh, he just he just came at him. Came at him with that fair. Good stuff coming in for Shino, um, realizing that Shino was going to overextend like that. Caught him going for it once, and the second time he decided to go high. He met with that waiting fair, that long snout of Yoshi paying off. Mm hmm. Oh, got him with the down tilt. Missed out on the air, on the up air. And look at how Shine is just taking refuge both below and above the platforms. He wants an extended kill, rather one off the top. Mm hmm. But that up air is covering nearly all of the landing options, but he still hasn't closed out the stock. Shuga's putting in work right now with the stock. Oh, but he got hit by that bear. Uh, he thought um, Shine was going to get stuck on that platform, trying to get him with the command grab. First Nair will connect with the sour spot, and the second one won't even connect at all, allowing Shine a safe passageway back to the stage. He gets around the egg, and the down air will pop him right back to the side. Yeah, and now Shine just play, trying to play neutral, throwing out these uh, Nairs, trying to hope that uh, uh, Shuga gets hit by a stray one, and then trying to combo it into something else. But Shuga getting these command grabs, and that's what Shuga's uh, main game plan is, is that he wants to make sure that uh, Shine not going to be feeling safe in his shield whatsoever. And there's the Nair to up air, and that's a true confirm. And it's really strong against uh, Yoshi. It is indeed. Yoshi perhaps lacks a, a combo breaker option, and even with what? that... <laughs> Yoshi has the best combo well, breaker options in the game. I mean, well, lack lack. He lacked the combo breaker option in that situation. No, it's just completely true. It that's is. The, that's like the, that's one of the problems about this matchup is like um, a lot of Ike's stuff is just completely true because Yoshi's double jump armor right. is frame one. It <laughs> comes out as soon as you press the jump button. Yes. So like, there's absolutely nothing you can do, and there's good the up tilt, tilt up air. Yeah, good up tilt from the up air, and Suga before things get too out of hand, only 50% down, can make this comeback, especially if he goes for some of these command grabs. Yeah, uh, like uh, Yoshi has the best stuff ever. He right. has he has the double jump armor to just jump out of combos. He could also jump. He could also just nair out with a frame three nair. It, he's one of the better characters. He, he might be the best, if not second best, after either Snake or Duck Hunt. <laughs> oh man, missing out on that dare. There's the there's these uh, options that Shine is going for, trying to find these openings, hoping that Sugar was going to go for a aggressive one, and then there's the grab. Oh, not going to go for a forward tilt instead. Very brave up smash from Shine, but won't get too much oh, of a punish and does true. get that up air. True confirm Shine is going to take game one. Yeah. That, like, that's one of the biggest issues. Like You cannot get hit by those strain airs. Those will kill you. They will be the demise of Suga if he's not careful. Back to PS2 for game two. Again, Suga was making a living off of those side platforms, and especially with two different stocks with an up air finisher. Mm -hmm. uh, like, uh, one, of the, one of Suga's biggest game plans is like making you not want to press the shield button ever. Right. Because he will get you with that command grab constantly. So you guys can stay on the platform for a little bit. I like how Suga can reverse the command grab a few times just to change his momentum and to cross up Shine a little bit, but wasn't doing that at all towards the end and I mean, he he was, it's just like it's just weird, right? Because like if you do it too much then they'll catch on to it and as a wise man once said if you uh, if you keep doing a mix-up too often, it'll become a habit. Well, shout out to Razo on Twitter for that one. <laughs> yeah. Back here, and this time we do see the command grab be reversed as a bit of a movement mix-up, but 
Has him back in the egg. Yep, and then got him off stage with that nair. Oh, hit him with the nair to up air and still juggling him. Shuka having a hard time getting out, but he get him with the fair to up air. True confirm as well. Both of these characters have true confirms into up airs, and especially with the average ceiling height that PS2 provides, you can really get some early kills oh that way. Oh my god, that double, that double nair to up air is so powerful. Uh, good stuff for Shuka, realizing he misinput it and just rolling away. No, not gonna get that landing though. A bit too high for a finisher off the down throw, but. Uh, Shine, it look, looks like he's fishing a little bit too hard for this Nair, and Shuka is kind of aware of it. He's uh, punishing accordingly. Oh, there's the Nair, but he um, he accidentally drifted back and couldn't confirm it. Good DI from Suga. I'm not sure if he was quite aware of it, but was facing the right way. One of the fair, but he's just going to side the Oh, under good it. stuff. Oh, no, he missed out on that another one. And he couldn't get the fair off the off that one either. And Something. now, yeah. uh, Shine is having a bit of a hard time just trying to camp on the side of it, but... Oh, this is what Shuggle loves, and he got him with the down B. Uh, good stuff uh, reading that timing. Yeah, it's just going to ledge shuffle a little bit and on top of the platform. He's been really good at sort of patching out these 50-50s that Shine has to use to recover and seemingly picking the better option at least 70% of the time. Yeah, and now Shine has to find some way to close out the stock that's not uh, near to up there because he is uh, definitely out of it right now. He is. Can't parry. Or Nair, uh, a little bit too high a percent because he has Rage. Yeah, look at this Rage assisted combo. That will put Shine at 82%. After another egg, that might just do it if he catches him. Oh, he definitely wanted to get the back end of that uh, up B, and that would have definitely killed. Another back air might do it. Ike, perhaps a bit more than average weight, but even so, the multi hits of Yoshi back if they do connect, but good dash attack from Shine. Finally closes out the first dock almost two and a half minutes in. Yeah, and one of the weird things about this matchup is that your, uh, all of your little tricks don't really work until like 40%. Hey, speak of the devil. Now he's got free reign of like what he could do to Yoshi. Oh, missed out on that, um, on that recovery option. Good stuff coming for Shine, getting back on the stage, but he still has a lot to, he has a lot to come make up for. Thanks the double jump. Misses with the up smash, but it's no problem. Won't get punished. Shine was trending in the opposite direction. Oh, there's the up air. That's going to catch the landing. Once again, we are back to 1-1. One, one. This will be Shine's counter pick for game three. Have to imagine he stays with Ike. Mm. But it is Shine, so who knows? I don't know. He lost that game, and he didn't feel very comfortable in that one. And uh, Mexican's kind of getting the feel of how uh, Shine is playing this matchup. Shine's character picks are, of course, an enigma wrapped in a middle, in a riddle wrapped in a mystery. Mm -hmm. What's he gonna do? Well, actually, okay. this is a pretty, this is a pretty all right matchup. I feel like it's kind of more, I, I feel like it's pretty even. Mm -hmm. But Wolf does is basically a sortie with the gun, right? But he's also combo food. I'd say it's slightly Wolf favor, but. You're right, that fall speed and that relative lack, the paucity of returning back to stage options if you're out of a jump can really turn the tide in Yoshi's favor. Yeah, it, like that's it, but like also, he can't really get those tech chases as well as he could with normal characters because that double jump armor. And I don't think it, I, like playing this matchup a lot, like as the Yoshi, I don't feel like it is that bad. It, it's bad at all. I feel like it actually is pretty even. Right. Playing this as the wolf, I think it just requires matchup knowledge on the Yoshi's part. If you can avoid some of the lasers, if you can avoid the zoning tools that Wolf puts out, you should be fine, but... Yeah. Oh, there's a Nair. Oh, he definitely realized that he got the double jump armor, but he was a little early on that dash stack. That probably would have put Sugar in a really bad spot, because uh, after he gets him off stage, then he just bolts up four tilt, try to get the two frame before he snaps the ledge, because Yoshi has no ledge snatching, snapping options in this game, really. Except down B, oddly right. enough. This is back there. That will kill. Only yeah, that killed. Now some sus DI. 109% after the hit, but as you said, the DI from Suga at mid stage, that'll be enough. Um, now Suga having an issue. There's the forward smash. Got him with that down tilt, tilt tech chase. Yeah, into the lock and only needed one jab to finally get him up into kill percent and then some just to be sure. Yeah, get him with that forward smash. There's the dare pressure. Make uh, Shine get a little bit scared. Shield, there's the tech situation. Missing on the four tilt, though. He's in and out, but 
good read on the spot dodge just as it expired, and now he drifts down for the back air. Suga's really growing into the matchup here. He messed up. He definitely could have got a forward tilt after that second hit of the, of the bear. Down, tilt, uh, down throw into dash attack. Misses with the bear. But he up, tilt, up bear. Is he going to follow anything up? Uh, no, he's just going to let him land, and Shinae hits him. But this is a really bad spot. Oh, no, he couldn't break out in time. He was just dead. Not enough mashing coming out. He may have just been too low, even if he matched optimally for that. Wolf has a fairly, you know, minimal, minimal range on that firewall. That and also another thing is, if you get eaten by the egg, um, you you fall depending on your gravity. Right. And, and uh, since Wolf is a fast faller, he will drop like a rock after that. that gravity coming into effect. And he may have just been out of a jump in that particular situation too. Oh, there's the bear. Now he got him out of the shield. So I'm pretty sure he's still out of jump. It's just like, it, it oh, was that's just right. really low. Sometimes you just, if you get him off stage, a lot of fastballers, you can just kill him at 80. Right. <laughs> There's the eggs trying to catch that uh, that snap to ledge. Look at how Suga's facing. He wants the back air. And then down B, not going to kill. Oh, he's trying to read whatever option Chine was going to go for, hoping he was going to roll away. Chine being patient, though. Bear not going to connect. There's that one, but he still has mountain to climb. Oh, there's the Nair. Off stage. What is he going to do? Oh, he cut, he stabbed him. But he didn't go for an aggressive option after. Shinae sitting at 170. Have to imagine he could have just waited there and watched as that invulnerability expired. But he does get the Nair. Wanted to roll in with down smash. Did not get. Ooh, he read that jump. There's the first hit. Missed down that one. No. There's the back throw. Not going not gonna to kill. This, nothing's going to kill. He actually doesn't have build options off the throw. Even that throw with the guy makes up not matching out. He's living to 186. Yeah, no up smash? Nah, not gonna do anything. Holding. There's the up smash. That's not gonna kill just yet. Oh, but the Nair. The reverse hit in there. Sends in the exact opposite direction. Foot was to the right. Shine was sent to the left. And Suga is going to take a 2-1 lead. The unranked player has the advantage over 19. Huh? <laughs> Wait, you're out? Que paso, Anita? It'd be like that sometimes. All right. He's gonna go back to the... Uh, no, he's trying to figure out a character. Ike didn't work, Wolf didn't work. Are we gonna see... PT? Yep. It's two to one. He might go fuck one trainer. Yeah, that's gonna be the pick. And this matchup, Yoshi does work against Charizard and Squirtle. Right. Absolute work. But like so many other matchups, it's just Ivy Sword that's the absolute terror for Yoshi to deal with. Perhaps on a relative scale, because again, Yoshi can dominate the other two, but when he is at mid percent, that's going to be when he's at his most vulnerable. Mm -hmm. But this is the issue: is that uh, Squirtle has a problem with getting out buttoned. Like um, a lot of uh, Yoshi's buttons, like the Nair, the Fair, they just outright beat a lot of Squirtle's options. And he could just double. And most of the time, he could actually just double jump armor out of like the combos that Squirtle wants to do. But this is where the issues come in: the Bear and the uh, and the Bear coming in from Ivysaur are major problems, and so is the Razor Leaf as well. Yeah, Yoshi can do damage if he gets in, but then again, that's a big if in this particular matchup. Whiffs with the Vine, and no. Oh, great option coverage coming in from Suga. Nair is going to get him, and Suga just drifts back to the right, and knows he got away with one there, and has to capitalize. Yep, and now uh, Shine's got, now he has a, he has a problem, because he only has 80% on the Yoshi, and Yoshi won't probably die until like, 130 in this matchup. No, kind of get a jab block. Yoshi is a very floaty. He is indeed. That up tilt might have been a bit too telegraphed, and she may have very easily able to escape that, but takes it back with a falling up razor. There. Leaf. Uh, oh, the and there's the, there's the vine whip. Sweet spotted too, just to kill him too. Yeah, the tipper on the up special is more than enough to kill Yoshi at that percent. And all of a sudden, we are on to stock two. Mm -hmm. Can't really punish that dare either. Neutral air dodge, so not gonna drift too low, but. Oh, got him with the grab! I mean, with the uppy. And the fair. Uh, 
catching the jump with the fair. There we go. That was what I was going to try to save. Had to make the switch to Ivysaur to make it back, but does nonetheless. That vine does extend fairly high up, even if it lacks a bit of horizontal reach. Nice. Uh, good stuff coming in for Shane to get himself out, but trading nares both players. This is uh, this is going to be an interesting one because, like, after all the Charizard buffs, like he has some pretty good buttons against uh, Yoshi, mainly being that Nair and that Bear. Of course, those are the two options. So oh, there's the egg to Fair. That's a true. That could be a true confirm, but he did a little late. But uh, Shine tried to retaliate with the Fair. It's one of those true in theory confirms where he gets it anyway, even if it wasn't executed fully and 100% properly. It's gonna land. You know, oh, he caught his double jump. What is he gonna do? Oh no, he actually went for the. He went for the forward smash, not uh, a little underestimating. How ridiculous Yoshi's um, air speed is. The best in the game. Up smash, hoping he was gonna get a better punish. But now, Sugar putting in work, no up tilt. Important to note that Shine is on his winner side stock here. That F smash won't connect and right into the grab from Suga. Fair? Oh, he got that that one's the true confirm right there. But he didn't get the he didn't get the sa uh, the spike hitbox. Got the sour spot there, and now that oh he jumped out. Not gonna do it. He wants a bear. Up smash. That's gonna take out the stock, but Shine still has 102 percent, and he needs to. Oh, he accidentally uh, he spot dodged, but Sugar with the good read. Yeah, just that wasn't an accident at all. That was intentional. <laughs> Absolutely no mistake there. Just ran up and did it. The up smash more than enough to kill Charizard at 121 percent, and Suga is going to pull the upset on Shine mm -hmm. to advance to winners finals. Yeah, Sugar. Putting in work today, Yoshi represent. Mm -hmm. Let's go. You are so sweet. 